All right, Shalawan, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash. I want to give double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of the Great Millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This lesson is entitled, There is Mercy in Remembrance. The Most High have had mercy upon us, those that have turned back to the old path, which is following Yahweh Shah, which is a path that leads to life. And the Most High, Yahweh, have had mercy upon us. Right? He have given us the gift of faith all through mercy. He have given us the gift of fear, the fear Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, out of mercy. He have given us the gift of understanding out of mercy. And he have also given us the gift to remember out of mercy. Jeremiah 6 and 16 tells us, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, stand in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they say, we will not walk therein. And those are the ones that the Most High have hardened their hearts, have blocked their remembrance. Two-thirds of our people, they will not come back to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because they can't remember. You know what? That's my power. I remember he's a so-called modern-day black man. I remember the so-called modern-day white man is my enemy. The Most High have blocked their remembrance. They're in a, a state of spiritual amnesia, all right? Brothers and sisters may have seen the movie The Long Kiss Goodnight with uh, Gina Davis and Samuel L. Jackson, all right? And Gina Davis played in the movie, all right, as a woman that had lost her uh, memories, okay? She had amnesia, all right? And she was in the midst of her enemies and didn't know it because she didn't remember. And that's two-thirds of our people. But we, being a part of those that have remembered all right, those that have came back to the old paths, the most, most high, Yahweh, have given us remembrance through his mercy. Okay, uh, the book of the book of Second Peter. Chapter three. And verse one, it says, this second epistle, beloved. I now write unto you, an epistle is what? A letter, all right? And this is written to the beloved. It says, in both which I stir up your pure minds. And how does the letters do that? All right? By the way of remembrance. That's just like if we knew, all right, that we were, we was going to go to sleep, all right, and we, were, we was going to wake up, we and we knew that we had to complete a task, all right, and that we needed a, a letter to remind us to uh, continue on that task, all right, which in that task, which is doing the work of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, we will what? Write a letter, all right, and when we wake up, we will read that letter, and the things that we were supposed to do before we went to sleep, it will come back to our remembrance, or it, it will remind us of what we need to be doing, okay, and that's what these uh, scriptures, all right, or these epistles have done unto us. Those that have read these epistles and, and heard these epistles through faith, all right, which is mercy from the Most High, our pure minds, all right, our correct minds, all right, our untainted spiritual minds, all right, has been uh, 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 clean. Uh, our minds have been cleansed and have what? Have been woken up, have, have brought back to our remembrance through the letters. And that's mercy from the Most High, all right, to remember that Esau, Edom, all right, is the enemy, all right, is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, is your oppressor, all right, America is your captivity. Two-thirds of our people, all right, they have spiritual amnesia. They don't, they don't know these things, all right, um, and we have mercy from the Most High, and that mercy is going to, Lord willing, allow us to what? Save ourselves if we're a part of that elect number, all right? And that's remembering what is need of us to be done, which is doing the work. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Joel 2 and 1, 
Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And I brought that scripture out because that is uh, returning to the old paths. That's returning to doing the work. If you love me, feed my sheep. And what's the work? Blowing a trumpet in Zion. But you can only do that if you remember what is need of you to be done. All right, And we have had that mercy from the Most High to come back to remembrance of what we need to be doing, which is to what, uh, be a, a watchman for Israel. All right, and We are blowing the trumpet now and telling Israel danger is coming unto this kingdom because we see the danger from afar. All right, And that's due to us remembering the task at hand, all right, which is to prophesy. Two-thirds of our people have been deprived of that remembrance. Okay, as uh, so like your Hosea 4, in verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. What is the opposite of remembering? To forget. All right? And, and that's the most high. Remember, uh, you're at your most vulnerable state when you can't remember something. All right? It could be on the tip of your tongue, as people say, and you can't remember it. All right? The most high must have mercy upon you in order for you to remember. All right? And that's mercy from the most high. But in order for, for you to uh, come back to the old path, and, and Lord willing, if we are part of that elect number, to have a chance for salvation, it starts by you remembering. And that's mercy from the Most High. That's why our people shall be destroyed. They're in a, 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 a state of destruction right now. They're amongst the walking dead because they don't remember the old path. They don't remember that Esau Edom is their enemy. Just like Gina Davis in the movie Long Kiss Goodnight. She was right around her enemies and thought these people was her friend. And they could have killed her at any time. That's Esau Edom around our people. Why? Because they don't remember. They have spiritual amnesia. Let's read it again. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. Yeah, you rejected knowledge, all right, in your past life. Now you have coming back in the reincarnation and Most High have given you your lot. See? It says, I will also reject thee that thou should be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten thy the law of thy power see i will also forget thy children see that and that's due to remembrance second thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 15 tells us therefore brethren stand stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught See that? Something that was taught in a previous time, whether by word or by epistle. And, and, and that's those letters, all right, that we're reading, stirring up our pure minds, all right? It says, Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, okay? But two-thirds of our people have forgotten the things that we was taught because they rejected it back then when they was being, actually being taught. Now we're here in the year 2020, the year of prophecy, this current day, and we have came back in the reincarnation to fulfill our lot. We, through the Most High Remembrance, I mean, Salaki, through the Most High giving us remembrance, we what? Have a chance to obtain mercy. See that? By the things that we have been taught, whether by word or by epistle. Now we're reading these epistles, all right? Now our prayer mind is getting uh, uh, stirred up by the way of remembrance. All right, and to remember something is simply to uh, something to come back to mind that you once knew. See, that's something that you once knew. Um, let's get the book of Saint John, fourteen, verse twenty-six. It says, "But the Comforter, which is the Holy." Spirit, it says Holy Ghost, but we say Holy Spirit, whom the Father, Yahweh, will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance 
whatsoever I have said unto you. See, all of the things that we have learned back in the past and the things that we once knew, because to bring something back to your remembrance is to bring back something that you once knew, all right? Now, we have been comforted through the mercy of the Most High, allowing that spirit to come upon us, which is a spirit that's going to teach you all things and bring all things back to your remembrance, which is who is the devil or the wicked that the Bible speaks of, the task at hand, which is doing the work, prophesying, edifying the children of Israel, the sheep, the lamb, being a great watchman, all right, warning the people, blowing the trumpet, all right, that's the Holy Spirit coming upon us, and that's why we're in a, a, a state of comfort, and two-thirds of our people is in a state of destruction, because they have forgotten, and we have remembered, all right, let's read it again, St. John 14 and 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things, the 100% truth, to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So we know how uh, 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 we're going to get out of here, Lord willing, we, we that elect number, which is by the way of the vehicles of our salvation, which is the chariots. We know the, the, the track record of the so-called modern-day white man, Goes back to his, his forefather Cain. All of these things have came back to our remembrance. See that? And that's mercy from the Most High. So, Lord willing, I pray that that made sense and that this is edifying. There is mercy in remembrance. Call Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwidash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom, DTA, Wa Ababa Babal.